Hello guys, I'm finally starting off today's vlog. I truly had the laziest morning ever, but also I felt like I needed it, so can't complain too much. I did edit and upload my vlog for today, so I got that done, but after that I just laid in bed for a while and read a book, so I haven't done anything productive today. But again, that's okay. Now it's time to get some stuff done. I really need to clean out my closet. My dresser broke and my clothes have just been all over the place. So I'm going to reorganize everything. I bought some new hangers and I'm gonna show you doing all of that. And then we also have a Harry Potter closet as we call it downstairs. It's a closet underneath our stairs that I really just need to reorganize everything under there so that we can fit more stuff in it and it's just a little bit more organized because it's kind of a mess right now. So today is basically going to be a cleaning closet type of day. I'm going to start off by making the bed and then I think I'm just going to start dumping clothes onto it and organize what I want to hang, what I need to put in these new plastic drawers I'm using and just kind of get started with it that way. Happy Vlogmas day six. Let's get this day going. I just finished folding all of the clothes that I had that are clean but weren't in my drawers or anything. So this is all good and kind of sorted where it needs to go. I do still need to get everything out of this dresser and some of these drawers won't open. The first two drawers I think come out so I'll try and pull those out and then see if I can get the stuff out of the other two. And then I'm going to take everything out of my closet and switch to the new hangers which are also downstairs so I need to go unpack those so I can start hanging stuff too. Just got the four drawers out. That bottom one over there is completely empty because I couldn't get anything back into it. And this is the dresser, as you can see, um, very broken. Don't recommend this Ikea dresser, I guess. I mean, it was pretty cheap and did me good for a few years, but now it's falling apart. So I think I'm gonna ask Brian to pull this out and then this one is going to go in there and then I'm gonna start dealing with the clothes. Brian and I just demolished the dressers, so it's all gone. We literally just like pushed it apart and then threw it all in the trash can. So at least it was easy to take apart and get rid of, which feels good. Now I'm gonna open this box of hangers. I bought black velvet ones from Amazon. Um, I will leave the ones I ordered linked down below. But we're gonna open this box and deal with the hangers. I guess they come in like all these small packs, so have to unwrap all of these. Um, but at least I guess I can unwrap just the ones I need and then leave the other ones in these containers, I guess. Okay, I just fit all the plastic drawers in here. I stacked these two. This will probably be more for like bras underwear, swimsuits, um, my leggings or sports bras might go in there just because I'm not going to have enough room in this thing for all of my clothes. So we're just going to kind of mess around and put clothes in there to figure it out. And then I have all my hanging stuff. I guess I'll go to this side of the closet. This is all the stuff that's currently hung. It's really jammed packed in here so hopefully we can spread it out a little bit but also i need to hang some more things that aren't hanging now so we'll see i'm really just tired of these like bright neon hangers so that's kind of why i'm switching those and i needed to buy more anyways so i figured i might just as well switch them all out i'm gonna start switching out the hangers i think and then i need to figure out what order i want things in i think i'm gonna do shirts and then sweatshirts and then dresses obviously dresses are gonna be longer and the plastic bins block that side. So we're going to try and fit everything in here and see how it goes. I 
I think I've gotten through about half the clothes switching the hangers. These ones are all done. And then I still have all of these ones to go and some of this stuff, like those two piles, need to be hung. And uh, I think I'm gonna hang up my jeans too. So we still have quite a bit to go, but making progress. Finally got everything hung up, thankfully. This part is empty, my laundry basket will go there. I might get a different one that's more upright, but we'll see. But for now, it's gonna go there. And then let me show you what the other side, hey, what the other side looks like. I just have my sweaters right here. I think I'm gonna put like my purse right there, even though I really don't use my purse at all right now with not going anywhere. Um, and then the plastic drawers like I showed you earlier. Um, I'm gonna start putting things in here because the rest of the room is still a total disaster. I was gonna try and hang up my long sleeve shirts too, but I only have a few hangers left. I guess I underestimated how many I already had in my closet because I took a lot of stuff off of hangers to donate or sell. So yeah, I might have to buy some more if I actually wanna hang those, but maybe I'll be able to fit everything. We'll see, I have low expectations. I'm just gonna start putting things in drawers and try and organize it how I want it and see how this goes. We have made significant progress. This whole giant pile is gone. I broke down three of the drawers and put them in the garbage. So I just have my t-shirts left and I don't really know where to put my shorts. And then there's a few sweatpants, but most of it's shirts and I'm hoping I can fit it all in this top drawer. Everything else is like very, very full, but at least everything has a place. Um, there's underwear and bras, socks, uh, sports bras, PJs, uh, some shorts and biker shorts and swimsuits. And then this middle one is leggings and sweatpants and the bottom one is jeans and then I folded up all my long sleeves and put them right there and you can't really you don't really notice them because the sweaters cover it so that works and I have my mini backpack from Disney here and then my purse even though who knows when I'll ever actually use that again but at least everything is looking good this side is the same as it was before I just shoved my laundry basket down there so we're we're doing good at making progress I just want to knock out this and then we'll be good. My plan was to also get the downstairs closet, the Harry Potter closet done today, but obviously that's not happening at this point since it's already starting to get dark out. I didn't really get my day started till noon and kind of this took way longer than I thought it was, but at least it's turning out really well and I really like it. Plus I got rid of a good pile of clothes. I'm not sure if I'm gonna try and sell them. I haven't had much luck selling my clothes online. I really just want to get rid of them. So we'll see if I put them on Poshmark or just take them to like Goodwill or Salvation Army and call it a day. We shall see. But I'm gonna try and finish this up so we can be done and then relax for the rest of the evening. closet is finally done thank goodness because I was so over it but everything is in its place the drawers are definitely really full but at least everything fits so that's good I'm so glad that I finally finished reorganizing the closet it feels good to have that done I pretty much dismantled all of the dresser and threw it in the garbage I do have one drawer that I don't think is gonna fit until our garbage gets taken so for now that's just chilling but for the most part everything is done and good i don't think i fully explained why i decided to just go with the plastic drawers and hanging stuff for now and basically that's because we are most likely moving out of this place when our lease is up in june we really love this place but there is no backyard area there's a little bit of a patio but it would be really nice to have some kind of backyard or outdoor space for rosie to run around in there's a park a few minutes from our house and we can take her on walks but it would, she just loves running around in like large open spaces. So it'd be really nice to have a backyard or somewhere like right outside our door that we could take her to. So I didn't really want to either buy a cheap dresser and hope it didn't break again or to buy a nice dresser and then it not fit or be the right 
shape or size or whatever for the new place we move into I'd rather kind of just deal with the plastic drawers for the next I know it's like six months but at least that's better than like buying a nice dresser and then it not working in our new space does that make sense basically I just didn't want to spend money and not know what our next living situation or place would look like I'd rather just wait and be able to save a little bit for like a nicer dresser so that it doesn't break again like the one from Ikea did so that was what I was thinking with COVID who knows maybe we don't end up moving in June but it just didn't make sense to me to buy a new dresser and spend money on a new dresser when we could be moving. My plan now is to just chill for a little bit. I am very tired from doing that even though I slept in quite a bit today and that's all I've done today. I'm still very tired. So I think I'm just gonna chill and read a book and I am going to make dinner soon. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make breakfast for dinner because that just sounds really good and I don't really feel like cooking like a meat item so I think we're gonna make pancakes for dinner we ended up getting the habit for dinner I got a chicken sandwich onion rings and an Oreo shake and Brian's over there making us festive peppermint drinks this is a really cute angle that's all I gotta say. It's currently 11 p.m. and I've literally just been laying here for several hours reading a book. I just finished it a little while ago. 10 out of 10, really good. I forget what it was called. Let me look. It's called British Bed Me. I've been reading this series of standalone novels and they're all pretty good. I really liked that one. And now I really should go to bed. I should shower. I normally shower at night, but I'm really, really tired. So maybe I'm just gonna brush my teeth and wash my face and shower in the morning because I don't have the energy to get in the shower right now. I think that's the plan. I really shouldn't read anymore and just go to bed. But also I love reading. It's a problem. I need to not read so much, honestly, but I can't stop myself. I think I'm delirious right now. I'm so tired. So I'm gonna make myself get up, brush my teeth, wash my face, and then get into bed. Mm -hmm. 